Hello, this is Ideal Gas Law and we will be calculating some problems using the formula for Ideal Gas Law. So first of all, uh, the Ideal Gas Law formulation is, our formula is pressure times volume of a gas divided by the number of uh, moles and the temperature of the gas is equal to R. And R again is a fixed number and it is 0 .08, 0 0.0821 ATM liter mole Kelvin. So if you're using ATM liter mole and Kelvin, it ends up with 0 0.0821. But if you, uh, if you are using Pascal and meter squared, meter cubed, then you will have this, which is 8.314, okay? And then again, this PV equal over NT is equal R, is equal to R. This is usually written in other books as PV is equal to NRT because it's kind of easier to remember, okay? But that's the idea. So now, let's uh, take some problems. So let's say you have a gas and the pressure of the gas is 3 atm. Okay, and its its uh, number of particles is 2.5 moles, and then its temperature is 450 Kelvin. So the question is, how much will be the volume of the gas? Okay, so uh, it's it's important to take note that okay, P is given, N is given, T is given. R is what is asked, uh, not R, V is what is asked, and R is a given, because remember, it is a constant, you must memorize it, so therefore, this can be solved, okay, so now to solve for it, obviously, uh, I need, I just need to rearrange it, this so that you have, so that I can calculate for V, so it will be V would be equivalent to R and T divided by P. Okay, so I hope you can get from here to here. So kindly try to examine why this becomes like that. But that is the idea. And then all you need to do is now replace, uh, I mean, substitute the values in. Now remember in your pressure you're using ATM. And therefore you can use this, which is in ATM. You cannot use this because this is for using Pascals. But if you're using ATM, you can use that. So... Uh, it will be 0 0.0821 and this would be ATM liter per mole Kelvin and then the N would be 2.5 moles and then the temperature would be 450 Kelvin right 450 Kelvin and then I notice that mole here gets cancelled out by here because this is numerator, this is denominator, this is numerator, this is denominator. And then you still have the pressure at the bottom. Pressure is 3 atm. And then just like that, notice the atm here also cancels with the atm here. Just like that, you will get your answer. So if you just multiply 0 0.0821 times 2.5 times 450 and then divide it by 3, you will get the answer for the volume, which is approximately around 30.79 liters. Okay, so it's as simple as that. But again, key to answering this is realizing that here, that hey, I'm using ATM. So therefore, I must use this value here, which uses ATM, rather than this, which doesn't use ATM. Okay, so let's have another... Uh, Another example wherein you cannot use this one, but instead you use this one. So let's say, let's say, let's change these things up. Let's say you have a gas and the gas is, the gas pressure is 200,000 pascals, right? And then its volume is uh, kind of 1.9 meter cube. And then your temperature is, you don't know the temperature. So you, you are trying to solve for the temperature. And the number of moles is 63.5 moles. Okay? So first of all, you'll realize that, again, pressure is in pascals. Volume is in meter cubed. So in that, in that means you cannot use this. Because remember this, ladies and gentlemen, uses ATM and liter. ATM for the pressure, liter for the volume. But since you're using pascal and meter cube, it, you will be using this. So in other words, when we see it as um, 8.314 uh, joule per mole Kelvin, 
it's actually Pascal per meter cube. Okay? This is actually just means that. Okay? And if you are kind of wondering, why is that, sir? Why is joules equal to Pascal times meter cube? Well, remember Pascal, as we discussed in pressure, is Newton per... So you have... So you have pascal times meter cube right but pascal is newton per meter squared remember so if you multiply that with meter cube guess what this two m's here will cancel out with the two m's here leaving you with one m so newton meter is what newton meter is joules remember when you calculated for uh, kinetic energy potential energy newton meter is joules so in other words when you say 8.314 joules per mole kelvin it's actually 8.314 pascals times meter cube and i like this format because it easily cancels out with our units here so uh, let me erase this and again let me change that joule into pascals times meter cube and now let's get solving so uh to solve for the temperature here i just have to manipulate this and i hope that you can already get this, that this is PV over N times R, right? So P pressure is now 200,000 pascals. And then V is 1.9 meter cube divided by the N is 63.5 moles. And then the R is again, you cannot use this because this is an ATM and liter. You have to use this because this is in Pascal and meter cube. So which is 8.314 Pascal dot meter cube. And guess what? Pascal cancels out. Meter cube cancels out. And sorry. It's Pascal meter cube per mole Kelvin. Right? Pascal meter cube per mole Kelvin. Mole gets cancelled out. So what is left is Kelvin. So all of these, when you calculate, will give you Kelvin. So now the temperature, if you calculate, if you multiply 200,000 times 1.9, divided by 63.5, divided by 8.314, the answer will be 719.78 Kelvin. Okay, so again, the key, the key takeaway here is, you have to be mindful of what is given. If what is given is an ATM liter, you use this value, 0 0.0821. If what is given is in Pascal and meter cube, you use this value, which is 8.314.